Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Hi. How are you? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, very good. That's nice. Oh, there is your baby. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful baby you have. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> and do you work from home or do you have to go out to, to your office every day? Um, do you work at home? No. Um, Trabajé hasta las... Uh -huh. Hasta las... 70... 70 o'clock. Okay. I I finished work. I finished I finish work, work at seven. Seven. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. it's nice to see you today and with your baby there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's almost time to start a class and nobody is connected yet. Uh, but we have maybe, yeah, we have a little some seconds. Faltan algunos segundos. Uh -huh, para sí, la clase. ocho puntos ya. Yeah. <risas> Ajá, exactly, exactly. Porque um, yo veo que sí, hoy ya tengo las ocho, ¿verdad? Y, sí, ahorita sí ya son las ocho. Pero no veo a los chicos. Ah, por ahí vienen ya. Ahí vienen ya. <risas> ok. Ok, Ajá. Oh my God. Hello, good evening, Giovanni. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too, thank you very much. Y ustedes son duchos digitando, chicos. Son listos para digitar. Digamos, en el teléfono digitan rápido. Y tan rápido ustedes en el teléfono. Ay, a mí me cuesta un poquito y siempre, siempre tengo como que se me mete otra letra. <ríe> Ajá. Por más que trato de ser más rápida, no es como que uno está acostumbrado pues al teclado de la compu, ¿verdad? Hello, good evening, Carlos Eduardo. Hello, Carlos Eduardo, how are you tonight? I think he cannot hear us.
Okay, hello everyone. How are you tonight? Ana Cristina, hello, hello Karina. Hi Carlos Eduardo. Hello teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It start raining. It's raining. Oh my God. Yes, it is raining. Is it raining over there in your places? Is it raining there, Ana uh, Cristina? Is it raining? Uh, no. No? Oh, okay. Well, here, no, no, right no. now it started. Mm. No homework uh, office. Oh, okay. Me tocó trabajar en oficina y yo sí. Oh, no, okay. No okay, so you you went to your office today? Okay, good. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, I'm going to start taking the attendance because the time is running. So we have to uh, start. We need to redeem our time, right? So let me, let me be here. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Alexis, uh, well, I, I received a message about him. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Al uh, Ramírez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see, Juan Carlos. Um, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present, teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Toba Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Wendy, ok. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. La otra tortilla. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Ok, I see. Welcome, Ana del Carmen. Let's see here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, more or less. Ok. <laughs> There you go. Okay, people, we're going to start with our objectives. Good evening, today. teacher. Good evening, Wendy. Una que, papi? Una que? Una que? Así de, así. 
Ahí me vale, vale. Aquí me, aquí me. Sí. No, pero ahí no. A los rojos. Cada bolita Okay, I think it is okay now. I don't know why it didn't. Good evening, it teacher. Time. How are you? Good evening. Great, and you? I'm fine too. Um, Maria Elena, how yeah. are you tonight? Great. Oh, okay, yeah, you said great. Okay, nice to hear that. Let's start the class. Let's uh, let's see. Because in our agenda today, we have some, some things that we need to, to talk about, okay? First of all, what date is it today, guys? What date is it today? June 9, 2021. Correct. Today is June the 9th of 2021. Very good. And this is your video conference number 13. Okay, uh, let's see. Ana del Carmen, could you please read the agenda? Okay. Object, oh, no, casi no miro. Object, <laughs> glass presentation, uh, feedback. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, question present continue conversation time uh -huh. recording my conversation okay very good thank you very much okay so in our objective for today we want to have clear that we are going to learn how to ask questions, okay? Let's remember that in this unit, we are talking about ongoing activities, future events at the workplace, and also we need to learn how to ask and provide a specific information about temporary situations as well. So let's see in our class objective for this class, okay, for this class is to ask questions about present continuous. I mean, about activities using the present continuous, okay? Now, let's see, and let's start with the first, with the first point of agenda, okay? Let's do, well, we are going to make this um, little feedback, okay? Do you remember the structure or the grammar structure of an affirmative sentence using the present continuous? Do you remember? Can you tell me? So uh -huh. complement. Okay, so it's subject. Can you give me an example of a subject? Subject. Mm -hmm. Bob. Bob walking the dog. Okay, yes, correct, Giovanni. Bob. Bob is a subject. Okay. Then we have to add the verb to be or the verb be. If Bob yes. is a subject. Okay, if Bob is a subject, what is the form of the v be verb that we are going to use? Walking. The be, be verb. Is. Is, correct. Is. Plus the main verb. Giovanni said walk, right? Walk 
plus the ing. Okay, Bob is walking. And then the complement, the duck. Okay, the duck. Ahí le podríamos poner incluso el lugar donde él anda, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, podríamos decir, Bob is walking the duck at the park. Okay. Y ya tenemos una explicación mayor, ¿verdad? Algo más específico. Now let's think. Do you see what Matt is doing? Taking a bath. Okay, then. Can you please um, follow the structure to make this sentence about Matt? Matt is taking a bath. Thank you. Matt is taking a bath. Hey, now that I remember. Uh, ayer estaba revisando el video. Bueno, yo siempre tengo que revisar el video nuevamente por si hay algún detalle que no se tocó o algún alguna cuestión y eh, entendí la pregunta de María Elena María Elena sí tiene toda la razón yo entendí nada más eh, el gerundio que usted me decía y entonces pero sí usted tiene toda la razón eh, hay ciertos verbos que por la significación eh, no se pueden utilizar en el presente continuo o sea no tienen esa no existe esa forma progresiva pero este es el detalle, que si alguien la utilizara, su significado no es presente progresivo, ¿ok? Sino que su significado no le da, eh, es por su significado que sí o no se puede utilizar como presente progresivo. Eso es ya de un inglés bastante avanzado. Qué bueno que me, que me dice, que me dijo este punto. Y pues sí, le, le afirmo que sí, ¿ok? Cuando yo estaba viendo el video, comprendí lo que usted me quiso decir, ¿ok? Así que disculpe que ayer no le entendía, ¿ok? Oh, no, okay. Oh, pero pero for... sí, ¿ok? Ok, ok, bueno, entonces en este, en este nivel solo vamos a ver estos dos usos, ¿verdad? Estamos viendo oh. el uso para futuro y estamos viendo el uso para las cosas que están sucediendo en el momento que yo estoy hablando, ok, okay. so um, y sí lo van a llegar a ver y eso sí es bastante complicado porque ya va con la significación ya va con la significación, o sea con el significado, eso ya es más semántica que, que, que gramática ok pero sí es parte de la gramática ok Continuamos. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. So, can you tell me what are they doing? But let's try to follow the, the structure, okay? Let's try to follow the structure to Yo. make a um, complete sentence. They, they are. They are. Having. Mm -hmm. Having. 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 Mm -hmm. A dinner. Okay. There you are. They are having, uh, no, it's not A, it's only dinner. Okay. They are having dinner. Si decimos a dinner, estamos hablando de una celebración, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo más común es que si van y as, es un tiempo de comida, okay, they are having dinner. They are having dinner. Si decimos a dinner, es algo más específico something very specific, like a celebration with a dinner, right? So let's continue, guys, and let's see. <coughs> Following the structure, can you tell me what is she doing? Can you tell me what is she doing? She's teacher. Okay, yeah, she's a teacher. Aha, uh -huh. what is she doing? She's a teacher. She is? Teaching. Teaching. Ok. Y le podemos agregar algo para ser más específicos y utilizar nuestro vocabulario que ya conocemos, ¿verdad? She is teaching English. Ok. She is teaching English. Very good. Y le podríamos poner at school. ¿Verdad? 
como para utilizar más nuestro vocabulario, chicos. Ya, ya tenemos bastante vocabulario, ¿ok? So let's continue. What about Kim? What about Kim? What is Kim doing? He is swimming. Okay. Kim is uh -huh. swimming. swimming. How do we spell swimming? How do we spell swimming? Can you spell swimming for me, please? S S W, w uh, I I M uh -huh. I M uh -huh. M-M. M-M, correct. M-M. Let's remember that we have to double the consonant, okay? Swimming. Okay. Swimming. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Kim is swimming now, okay? There you are. Now let's think about what is Laura doing? What is Laura doing? Laura is listening music. Okay. Laura. Laura is listening to. Let's remember listening to music. Okay. Sorry. Music. Okay. Something that it is very important is that when we write a sentence. We have to start with a capital letter, okay? And we finish with a period, okay? We finish with a period. We start with a capital letter and we finish with a period. Okay, now let's see, aha, uh -huh, the structure. Let's see the structure, subject, here we have the subject. Then we have the verb be. Then we have the verb, but it has to take the ing form, okay? And then we have the complement. Do you see the structure? Do you have any question um, about this? Questions? No questions? What if, what if this person um, is not doing that action? ¿Cómo lo decimos cuando es negativo? ¿Cómo lo diríamos? La número uno, number one. Maybe he's not at the park. For example. Good night, did you? Hey, good evening. How are you, Jonathan? Very good. What nice is the question? You. Uh, the question here is uh, let's imagine that Bob is not at the park. So, how do we say this in a negative sentence? Okay. Bob is walking the dog at the park. Again? Bob isn't walking the dog at the park. Very good. Now let's remember that in the to be verb form, we have to use the correct one. In this case, it's for the third person. And let's imagine that we are using is not, right? So contracted, it is Bob isn't. So it is correct. Bob isn't walking the dog at the park. Correct? Okay, just one second, please. Let's see. I'm going to to erase this and let's continue. Okay. 
Ya ve con quién, ya viene por el video, pico, ya mamá. Okay, now let's think about, let's think about the negative form for the second person. For example, instead of saying Carmen, right? Because you can say Carmen, my name, right? So let's go back, let's go back over there. And let's say the negative form for you. Okay, oh, one second. I don't know what happened here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, here we are. So let's think about the negative form. But it's going to happen then. Uh, then we are going to say, you are not, okay? So we could say this is equal <clears throat> to you aren't, okay? You aren't. Pero tenemos otra manera también para decir esto, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo sería la otra manera de decir esto? Ajá. Hay dos formas de contractarlo. Doesn't. Uh huh. Quiero ver. You're not. Correct. Correct. So it is. You're not. Uh huh. Estas dos contracciones tienen su uso, ¿verdad? You aren't es como más suave. You're not es como bastante enfático, ¿verdad? You aren't. For example. I could say, you aren't you aren't walking the dog. Let's say that, okay? But if I want to be very emphatic, okay, I, I need to emphasize that you are here and you are not there. So then I say, you, We could use the contraction because we need to be more fluent, sound fluent. So you're not, you're not walking the dog. Okay. Do you see that form? Now, let me erase this. Let me erase this. And we're going to... To see the others. Okay, these are other forms. So we have the negative form of the to be verb here. I am not can be contracted like, like I'm not. I am not is equals to I'm not, okay? Then we have, one second, uh, let's see. You are not equals to you're not, you're not, but we can contract it like you aren't too, okay? Then she or he or it is not, then we can say she's not or she isn't. Okay. Do you have a question about this? No questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. This is just, uh, just a feedback about the to be verb in the negative form. So I'm going to ask right now. I'm going to ask some questions. These are direct questions. Is he making a phone call? Is he making a phone call? Yes, teacher. Yes, what? Yes, he, he is. is. Okay, now let me, let me write it down for you, okay? 
Let me type it. And it will be, is he making a phone call? Then the answer is, yes, he is. Okay. Is he making a phone call? Yes, he is. Let's imagine that he is calling clients, okay? Let's imagine that he is calling clients. Then we are going to say, if you want to ask, this is a direct question, guys. So is he calling clients? Then what could be the answer? Yes, he, he is. Calling. Okay. Let's imagine that he is calling his boss. He's not calling clients. Ah, then the answer could be no, he isn't. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que utilizamos para la pregunta directa? Ponemos al principio el verbo to be o el verbo be. En este caso, como estamos hablando de él, estamos preguntando de él, la forma del verbo to be que usamos es is. La forma corta de contestar es yes, he is or no, he isn't. Okay? Are we okay with this? Now, let me erase this. Can you ask a direct question, question about this picture? Let's think something about that picture. Send email. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, sending emails. Okay. We could ask Is Maria sending emails? Okay. Is Maria sending emails? What could be the answer? Yes, what? Yes, she is. Okay. Or? No, she isn't. All right. No, she is. No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'm going to ask a question. Are you sending an email? Mail? Are you sending an email? Yes, Are I am. Are you sending an, an email? Okay. Yes, I am. Correct. Yes, I am. Or? No. 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 I not. I, okay. No, no, I don't. I am not. He, aquí no utilizamos do. Aquí utilizamos el verbo to be. En este caso es am porque estamos hablando de la primera persona, ¿verdad? Okay. Now, I'm going to ask, are they receiving the email? Okay. Are they receiving the email? Are they receiving the email? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta corta? What will be the short answer? They are. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, they are. Or. No, they right. aren't. Or no, they mm. aren't. Um. Okay, they aren't. A menos que quisiéramos hacer un énfasis, decimos no, they are not. Okay, no, they are not. Pero en, un, uh, en una respuesta simple, llana y sencilla, sería no, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. Are we okay with this or do you have a question? Any question? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, okay. now it's your turn. Now it's your turn, okay? Let's use this as let's let's use this picture. 
and you tell me some questions. Direct questions. Mm -hmm. Is she organizing the meeting? Very good. Oh. I have the letter Z till there. <laughs> Is she organizing the meeting? Mm -hmm. What will be the answer in this case? Yes, she is. Okay. Now, another question, guys. Another question. They are American. Again? I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. Can you repeat, please? It's frozen now. Oh, there you go. Edwin, could you repeat? They are sending they a are report. In, they are in American. Okay, it's good sending a rep a report, but uh, we're talking about a meeting. Edwin said said um, they are in a meeting, but now what I need you to formulate or that you make it, um, it's a question, okay? It's a question. So in this case, are they in a meeting? Okay, are they in a meeting? Are they in a meeting? What will be the answer? Yes? Yeah, they, they are. are. They are. Okay. Para la respuesta oh, positiva, no, no utilizamos una contracción, chicos. No es correcto. Por ejemplo, no decimos, yes, they are. No. Decimos, yes, they are. Correcto. Now, let's see. Is your boss in a meeting? Is your boss in a meeting? What will be the answer? Short answer. Yes. Yes, he is. Okay, thank you very much, he, but let's think that this woman is the boss so we could say yes she, she is. is okay yeah. so this is the way to ask um this is like confirming information okay this is like confirming information that we may be uh think that we know so we just want to confirm that there then is when we use the direct questions and the direct questions require the direct answers and the direct answers are short answers short answers las respuestas cortas y respuestas directas para preguntas directas verdad entonces una pregunta directa es para confirmar alguna información que nosotros ya probablemente conocemos o eh, queremos nada más eh, estar seguros de algo, ¿ok? So, that's the use of direct questions. Now, let me erase this. Let me erase this. And now, let me go here. Aha, uh -huh. we're going to do a little exercise. So everybody, every, everybody are going to the web and I'm going to share, I'm going to share this link for you to answer or to solve that exercise, okay? Now, 
in the chat. Here you have it. Okay, there you are. You have to complete the questions. Ahí lo tienen en el chat de Zoom, ¿ok? Todavía sí, me está abriendo el WhatsApp esto. Excuse me, tell me. Tell me. Alguien me iba a hacer una pregunta. You can send the link at what? Sí, lo único que está abriendo todavía el WhatsApp me está costando entrar en cada, cada una y eso que ya estaba abierto. Aquí ha comenzado a llover también, por eso estamos como raro. No es genial. Teacher, I sent the link in the chat. Thank you very much, Karina. Ok, ahí lo tienen, chicos. Pueden comenzar a completar las preguntas. Van a utilizar la correcta forma del verbo to be en cada pregunta. Ok. Finished. I'm finished too. Okay, very good. And what's your score? What's your 100%. score? Oh, yay. There you are. Hey, give me, me five. Too. A virtual five. <laughs> yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Good, good. Did you have any that uh, with any any of those? Les dio duda alguna? No. 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 Okay.
Finish, teacher. Very good. And what's your score? What is your score, tu calificación? Uh, 90. 90. Sí. Only one, I think, you missed. ¿En cuál, cre en cuál fue el error? ¿En which one? <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number one. Okay. Yes. The sun. The sun, mm -hmm. uh -huh, is third person. It's it, right? Okay. It. So we need okay. to use is. Uh -huh. Okay. Correct. Thank you, DJ. Okay, Nancy. Let's see. How is it going, Edwin? Finished, teacher. Did you finish, Wendy? Okay, good. Did you have um, any problem Ooh. with any of those questions? Yes. Which one? <laughs> Con cual? Como en tres me equivoqué. Okay. Pero ya encontró cuál fue el error o necesita que le ayudemos. No, ya. Ok. Ya. Thank you. Ok, Wendy. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que tener en cuenta acá, chicos? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que tener acá? Mucho cuidado cuando hacemos, utilizamos el verbo be. Tenemos que tener en cuenta si es plural también el nombre o el sujeto, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos ahí una palabra, the children, the children, that's plural, ok. That's a word, a plural word. So, yes, I, tenem, ok, very good, very good, Ana del Carmen. A hundred percent? Ok, great, great. Very good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, let's see, Astrid, did you finish? Yes. Okay. And, en una. and which one? Which one? And is the children who say yes are the children? Uh huh. It, it has to be are. Okay. It has to be are. Porque es un plural, ¿verdad? That's plural. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el singular de children? Child. child, child, correct, child, plural, children, very good, uh-huh, let's see, Juan Carlos, what was your score? Excuse me, teacher. Your score, tu calificación, score. Uh, 90. 90, okay, that's a very good score. ¿En cuál, en cuál se, le, se le confundió? En uh, una que tenía que poner am. Um, am, um, oh, ok, ok. Ajá, okay. para la pr primera persona. Es que a veces como que no tiene mucho sentido, ¿verdad? Preguntar, am I? Right? Uh, pero okay. sí, es, es muy, eh, es una forma, ¿verdad? Es una forma del verbo. Um, am I studying English? Am I studying English? Yeah, good. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to ask, is it raining now? Is it raining now? Yes. Is it? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, here it is raining and it is raining hard. Oh my God. Let's see. Okay, now, do you have any question about the, the exercise that we did? The exercise, questions, no? Okay, let's continue with the activities.
Okay, we are going to the manual and let's go to the to the thirty third page. It means page number thirty three. Okay, and let's read this conversation because usually we are having events at our workplace. So let's see, Rose and Mary are talking. So it says, hello, Mary, what are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week, for example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Peter is. Okay, let's go back to the beginning of the conversation and let's read it again. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Peter is. Okay. Now, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Teacher. Tell me. A pronunciation and. Mm -hmm. The ducks, okay. I am talk, talk, talking. Talking to colleagues. Talking to colleagues. Talking to colleagues. Mm -hmm. okay. Talking to Thank colleagues. You. Thank you. Okay. What is payroll? Payroll. Yes. Is the list or, um, yeah, the list when they pay to the employees, their salary. Okay, payroll is la um, exactly exactly that's the correct translation so it's the salary the salary for each worker okay con todos sus descuentos y todo right so it is i am signing some payrolls some payrolls mm -hmm. any other questions Okay, then let's read it together. Everybody activate your audio and let's read it. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. What are some Hello, activities Mary. you are doing this week? What, what are some activities you are doing this week? You are doing this week? Week, right? So, hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. There are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday 
For example, I am saying something so important Tuesday, Thursday, and sending emails on Wednesday. And you sending sending emails on Wednesday. And you that's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking, checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Peter is. Peter is. Okay, now let's listen Juan Carlos and Astrid. Juan Carlos is Rose and Astrid is Mary. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some payroll on the Thursday and sending email on the Wednesday in June. Thanks. Okay. I am talking to the colleague and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Better is. Okay, everybody, let's repeat. Signing some payrolls. Signing some payrolls. Signing some payrolls. Talking to colleagues. Talking to colleagues. Talking to colleagues. Analyzing the advances. Analyzing the advances. Okay, there you are. So now let's think and let's say what are some activities Mary is doing this week? What are some activities Mary is doing this week? Let's read the conversation again and let's read about Mary. Signing some payrolls mm -hmm. and sending emails. Okay, so she's busy on Tuesday and on Wednesday, right? Exactly. Okay, now let's see. Number two, can you read number two, Carla Veronica, please? Yes, teacher. Read number two. Um, are you doing some of the activities described about the, about which one? Okay, in your in your jobs. Guys, in your jobs, do you have to sign some payrolls? Are you sending emails this week? Are you talking to colleagues? Are you checking reports this week? Are you? Yes, yes everything. Okay. So do you sign the the payrolls in your in your company? Are you signing some payrolls? Are you signing some payrolls in your company? No, I am not. No, I am not. That's the answer. No, I am not. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. And let's fill in the blanks. Okay. Fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace. Fill in the blanks with events you have at your workplace. Okay. Number one, signing payrolls, sending emails, analyzing the advances. Okay, now let's complete number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine with your events, okay? With the events in your jobs, okay? Con los eventos de que ustedes tienen en su trabajo. Thank you. 
Okay, guys. Okay, let's see. Kevin, Kevin, what are some activities that you have at your workplace? What are some activities that you are doing this week? Um. Hmm? Signing payrolls. Okay, signing payrolls. Very, very good. Now let's see. Karina, what are some activities that you are doing to uh, this week? I am making bank transfers twice a week. Okay, making bank transfers. There you go. Now let's see. Mm. Juan Carlos. Writing report. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Now let's see uh, in number seven. Um, Ana Cristina. Enter a com viable. Enter. 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 A com viable. Pebbles. Uh, okay. Yeah, but yes, yes. But the thing is, enter or calculate or register or report. Uh, ingresar. Oh, okay. It will be. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me think. Um, more accounting verb in that case. Uh, let me look it up because for accounting, we have some specific, some specific things. So let me, let me find it out because um, for me, it could be type, right? Type because you just type it. Okay. Mm, but let me, let me look it up. Uh, you said enter, but that's, um, esa es una transliteración, okay, cuando decimos enter. Okay. Porque en realidad como que sería account tables in, pero vamos a ver. Mm 
Um, the top. Mm -mm. Okay, if we use enter, if we use enter, let's say it with the ing form. In this case, we'll be entering, okay? I'm using, I'm using the same verb you gave me because uh, I can't find another, another verb. O puede ser también como cargar, ¿verdad? Charge. Uh -huh. Okay. Registrar. Oh, okay. That's a very good verb. Register. Okay. That's a very good one. Uh, so we could be, we could say entering, charging, or re registering. Okay. Registering. Uh, they, uh, I, payable accounts, right? Payable accounts. Payable accounts. Mm hmm Payable, I think it will be payable accounts. Okay. There. I think it will be like that. Using enter, or if we say the other one, it was. Yeah, it, it doesn't sound good registering. Okay. It sounds better if I say to register. So it's okay, we're gonna say entering, okay? We're gonna say entering. Now, let's see another activity. Let's see, Giovanni. What are some activities you are doing this week? I coordinate contract signature. Coordinating? Uh-huh. Uh, signature. 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 Signature okay. on the clients. Twi signature twice on with from the clients. Okay, so you go to get the paper signed. Okay, the paper the paper signed. So we could say coordinating signature or client signature. Okay, client client signatures. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we could also say like contracts, right? Are they contracts? Excuse Son contratos. Me? Yes. Okay, we could say also that coordinating contracts, right? Coordinating uh, contract signatures. Mm -hmm. Let's see now, Jonathan. What are some activities you are doing this week? Checking documents. Okay, very good. That's easy. Checking. Well, it's easy to translate. It's not that to do it. Okay. <laughs> Checking documents. Okay, there you are. There you are. So nine activities. They are kind of. Let's see. Kind of. Okay, I'm going to put them like this for you to see them. Let's see the other one. Entering table accounts, coordinating clients, signatures or contract signatures and checking documents. Okay, there you are. There you are. Do you have any question about this at the moment? Questions? Okay, we're gonna no, take teacher. the attend. Excuse me? No. Okay, no, thank you. Now we are going to take the attendance for the second time and please turn on your camera and say present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present. Okay, uh, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. 
Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Present. Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangán de Alvarado. Ok. En Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Omar Present Alfredo. Teacher. Ok. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Isn't Omar there? No. Ok. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Ok, chicos, solo quiero hacerles eh, un poquito de conciencia que eh, no debemos faltar en lo que queda del curso. La verdad que han sido bastante fieles eh, a, a la asistencia. El único detalle es que como hemos tenido la situación de que nos desconectábamos por A, por B motivo, que nos ha pasado, ¿verdad? A todos, eh, eso baja la, la asistencia en el sistema. Entonces, esos porcentajes se ven afectados más cuando no nos conectamos para nada, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, quiero hacerles conciencia que por favor no, no falten, aunque nos cueste. Este es un beneficio muy bueno que estamos recibiendo. Este curso es un nivel bastante alto. Eh, es prácticamente un business English, ¿verdad? Eh, aparte, pues, que se combina con el Everyday English y se combina también con Grammar English. Entonces eh, va todo incluido en este, en este curso. Entonces es de aprovechar, ¿verdad? Este beneficio. Por favor, no falten de aquí a lo que falta del curso. Y la otra cosa es que, por favor, cada día estén, eh, sería ingresando, esa es buena palabra, hoy, hoy ya la tengo grabada, ingresando. Eh, sus tareas y sus exámenes, por favor. En este caso, pues el examen eh, lo ingresaron todos. Ahora solo vamos tarea por tarea. Y la otra es que por favor participen en los foros de discusión que tenemos o que abrimos, que en realidad en este nivel no hemos hecho una discusión de debate, sino que hemos hecho actividades de práctica, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, es bueno que, que practiquen de esa manera. La última actividad fue lo del email que les decía. Entonces, quizás por, ese, por esa vía vamos a aprender ese, ese tema, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Espero que ya sus, sus um, representantes en la compañía ya les hayan enviado su documentación a los, um, perdón, a administración de inglés corporativo para que puedan eh, reservar su, su cupo, ¿verdad? Para el próximo nivel. Así que, por favor, pongámonos listos. Si todavía no la han enviado, por favor, envíenla, ¿verdad? Bueno, luego de estos comerciales muy importantes, <risa> vamos a pasar a la siguiente actividad. ¿Ok? Y we were in a conversation In this conversation, you noticed that they are using questions and answers. Normalmente una conversación es eso, ¿verdad? Preguntas y respuestas. Siempre estamos queriendo investigar y saber las cosas, ¿verdad? No es que seamos, no, somos muy comunicativos, ¿verdad? Ya por naturaleza necesitamos saber las cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
desde que conocemos a alguien, ¿cómo comenzamos? Un pequeño saludo. Hello. ¿Y cuál es la primera cosa? How are you? Okay. It's a question. Okay. It's a question. And we want an answer. Even though if there is just a courtesy, then it needs, it needs an answer. So now we're going to learn how to ask questions using the present continuum. We started with the direct questions. En las preguntas directas que ya vimos, ya vimos la estructura y vimos que es fácil contestar siempre con el verbo to be la misma forma, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo sería para, digamos, si yo contesto yes para la primera persona, I um, ok. Si yo contesto negativo, no, I am not. Ok. For example, for this, the second person, it is you. Ok. You are. So, yes, you are, or no, you, you are. aren't. You aren't. Si queremos enfatizar, sabemos que podemos decir, no, you are not. Ok, no, you are not. Acuérdense de eso porque siempre necesitamos inflexiones, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando damos un imperativo o algo, you're not invited. Ok, o, o no, you're not doing that thing. No, you're not reporting. You are not, ok, then doing an emphasis. That's doing an emphasis. Okay, let's continue then. Let's continue and let's go back to our manuals. Let's go back to our manuals. So we were talking about the questions, okay? The questions. Ok, esa lectura que tenemos ahí la vamos a ver al final, ok. Pero ahorita quiero que veamos esta otra eh, conversación que es muy importante, ¿verdad? Para que veamos más preguntas, ok. Okay, let's see. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference, conference is taking place in the great room, Rita. By the way, When are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, uh, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Now, I want you to see the bold, the bold here and here and here. So can you read the first question in bold? La primera pregunta en negrita. Who wants to read it? Who are attending the annual conference this year? Okay, so it's using a WH word, right? What WH word do we have in that? in that question who. who okay who now let's read the next one let's read the next one where is it who. taking place okay good so the wh word is where where okay and this one this one that you are seeing here okay this one a one and both. Can you read it? We are the materials. When are the materials arriving? 
Okay, very good. So what is the WH word in that question? When. When, when, excellent, when. So now let's go and see the WH words for questions like this. This is just to visualize, okay, in order, in order. Like the first question that we saw over there it was who, okay? These are the question words, question words. Como conocemos las question words en inglés? We know them like WH words, WH words. The first one, who? When do we use who in a question? When do we use who in a question? Cuando queremos saber acerca de quién. De quién, right? De una persona, okay? Now, what, what? Cuando usamos what? When do we use what? Cuando queremos saber de una cosa, ¿verdad? De un animal, de una cosa. Um, where? Where? What, what is your name? Oh, that's a very good one. What's your name? Okay, good. Es una cosa, pero no es de animal, compañerito. Es de persona. <laughs> that's a good one. Hey, thank you very much for your joke, Edwin. Good. <laughs> Okay, then, what's your name? It's a very good question. Okay, where? When do we use where? Places. Uh -huh. A place, right? We want to know about a place. When do we use when? When? Uh huh. The friends. Time. Yes, correct. When we want to ask about the time, we want to know about time, periods of time or time, okay? Seasons and periods of time that things are happening, right? So let's see why, why? When do we use why? Question. Yes, it means that, but when we want to, uh, we, when we need a reason of something, okay? A reason, a reason. Why is when we want to know a reason of something, right? So now, when do we use how? How? Aunque no lleva una W, ¿verdad? Solo lleva una H, está considerada entre las palabras de pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, when do we use how? When we want to know about a way, way, a manner, okay? Una forma, okay? A manner, una manera. Cuando queremos saber así, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's see some, some examples, okay? What's your name? What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? Using the word what, okay? What? So let's see, what's your name? What do you do? And using where? Where do you work? Where do you work? A ver, contestemos estas tres preguntas. Let's answer these three questions. Let's see, who wants to go first? Let's see, Karina and Wendy. Karina, ask the questions. And Wendy, please answer the questions. What's your name? My name is Wendy. Uh -huh. Next one. Karina. What do you do? What do you do, Wendy? I, 
I find. No, no. What do you do? Is your profession or your job? She study English. Okay. She's a, she's an English student. Okay, you get it, guys? You eh, si entienden qué es lo que estamos haciendo? Es una pequeña conversación. Ellas dos van a preguntar las va, Karina hace las tres preguntas como una conversación, okay? A modo de que veamos cómo se responde en cada pregunta. Okay? So, la pregunta fue, what's your name, Wendy? Este dijo, my name is Wendy. La segunda pregunta, what do you do? Uh, I am a... I am a study. A student. A student. Okay. And next question, Karina. Where do you work? My work is media. ¿Cómo respondemos a esta pregunta, chicos? Esto lo aprendimos en el módulo pasado, ¿ok? I work in... Place. Si vamos a decir el lugar, decimos I work at. I work at. For example, I work at inglés corporativo, ¿ok? I work at inglés corporativo. No digo in, I say at. Okay? Correct. I work at media. Okay, very good. Very good. So, let's see. Maria Elena and Nancy. The first question. Maria Elena asked the questions and Nancy answered the question. Okay, what's your name? My name is Nancy. What do you do? Uh, uh, work. I am a? I am work and study. No escuchamos muy bien. Veamos otra vez. What do you do? I work and study. Okay, aquí tiene que decir su profesión. Okay, here you have to say your profession. For example, I will say, si me lo preguntaran a mí, yo diría, what's your name? My name is Carmen. What do you do? I am a teacher. Where do you work? I work at Inglés Corporativo. ¿Ok? ¿Sí se les queda? Yes, teacher. Ok, entonces. Yes. Nuevamente, María Elena. Please. Ok, desde el inicio. Uh, what do you do, I think. Ok. What do you do? I am... I am economist. Okay. Okay, and I am economist. Uh -huh. Where do you work? In the cooperative. I work at? I work uh, at in Acofram. Acofram, okay. Very good. So do you yeah. see? Every question has a way to be answered. So we have to be careful with that because there are some answers that are kind of an expression. Porque, por ejemplo, what do you do? No sigue la regla al contestarla, ¿verdad? Porque uh, la regla sería que contestáramos con el presente simple, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso contestamos con el to be. Por eso tenemos que tener ese cuidado, ¿verdad? Y por eso es que vamos a ver las WH questions con el presente progresivo. Y hacia eso vamos, ¿ok? Pero veamos estas otras preguntas solo para refrescar y recordar. A ver, están al revés. They are backwards. Can you read them? Let's read this one. When do you have include, include, lunch? Include. Lunch. Ajá. 
<laughs> good. Uh -huh. You have a very smart brain. Very good, guys. Okay. What is the question again? When do you have lunch? Excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. When do you check your email? Excellent. There you are. When do you check your email? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Y ahora ya no le puedo dar vuelta. Que lo giré todo, ¿verdad? Hey. Ahí está. There it is. When do you have lunch? Very good. Now, let's see the other one. Uh -huh. When do you check your email? When do you check your email? Así utilizamos la palabra para tiempo. ¿Cómo contestamos esta, esta palabra when? ¿Cómo la contestamos? How do we answer when do you check your email? ¿Cómo contestamos? For example, I check my email every day. Very good. Now, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at 12. Okay, if it is at 12, we can say, I have lunch at noon, okay? At noon. I have lunch at noon. Hello, Amar, how are you tonight? Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Uh, teacher, I've been coming from work. Okay, yeah, I, I know. So, uh, estamos estudiando WH questions, okay? Y ahorita solo estamos refrescando las WH words. Now let's see these other guys. Let's see these other, others. Aha, they are but words. ¿Creen que lo pueden leer? Try, try, everybody trying. Why do you say that? Uh -huh. That's... Excellent. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Esta, ¿verdad? This one. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. Why do you say that? ¿Cómo contestaríamos esto? How do we answer this question? Because I know. Excellent. We use the word because, okay? Because when someone asks why, we say because, and we give a reason of what we are doing, okay? So now let's see this other. Uh -huh. How often do you eat pupusas? Ha ha, you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes. How often do you eat pupusas? ¿Cómo contestamos how often do you eat pupusas? I usually. Okay. Mm -hmm. I usually eat pupusas. Okay. I usually eat pupusas every morning. I never, I never eat pupusas. Oh, so you are not Salvadorian, Edwin. Oh, come on. <laughs> every come day. On. Uh, yeah, every day. Every day. Okay, guys. So let's continue with these other two. Aha, uh -huh. let's see this one. Who is your boss? Excellent. Who is your boss? Who is your boss? Aha. Uh -huh. my, my boss is. Aha. Uh -huh. Exacto, esa es la forma de contestar. Entonces decimos. My boss is, okay. Oh. Y decimos el nombre de la persona. O sea que aquí estamos preguntando por una persona, ¿verdad? Who. We use who to ask 
for a person. And this one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, but your teacher. <laughs> Who? Create about the uh, documents. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who? Who prepares the documents? Excellent. And I see that they are two words in the wrong place. Good. Now let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. I got my uh, okay, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. What is for Okay, yeah. It was for the uh -huh. only for that. Only for that. Okay, there you are. Who prepares the documents? Who prepares the document? Ajá, por ese pequeña cascarita se nos fue, ¿verdad? De que, que de veras fue. My bad, my bad, I'm sorry. Yo sé que ustedes son muy listos. Si ustedes lo hubieran hecho antes que les preguntara. Yeah, I know, I know. ¿Cómo contestamos esta pregunta? How do we answer this question? I prepare. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who prepares the documents? Si fuera una tercera persona, for example, I could say Raquel does. Okay, Raquel does. Porque en esta, aunque no lleva el do o el does aquí, ¿verdad? Cuando respondemos, sí utilizamos does. Okay. Bueno, eso es solo recordando un poco las WH words. Ahora, vamos a ver. El who. Excuse me. ¿Me hicieron alguna pregunta? No? Ok. Let's continue with this, guys. In the present continuous, when we are structuring questions with a WH word, we have to be careful with the be verb, okay? This is the structure. This is the structure. WH word at the beginning, and then verb B plus the subject, plus the verb ING, plus the complement, plus the question mark. Remember that if it is the question, we have to write the question mark. It's mandatory. It's mandatory to write the question mark. Es mandatorio escribirle el signo de pregunta porque si no entonces es una afirmación, ¿verdad? Then, let's read the first one. Let's read the first one. Do you want to read the first one, Raquel, please? What? Mm -hmm. Complete. Yes, please. What are my sister's friends doing at the supermarket? Okay, so if you see what is the WH word, B in this case conjugated is R because my sister's friends is the subject and it's plural. Then we use the verb do in the ing form. And then the complement. What is the complement? At the supermarket. And let's remember also the question mark at the end. So let's read it together. What are my sister's friends doing at the supermarket? Everybody, what are my sister's friends doing at the supermarket? Everybody reading with me, please. What wow. are wow. My, wow. my sister's wow. friends doing wow. at the supermarket? Very good. And supermarket. Let's see number two. Let's see number two. Can you please uh, read it, Ana del Carmen? Okay. Why is the company paying extra hours this month? Extra hours this month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then let's read it all together. Everybody together. 
Why is the company paying extra hours this month? Everybody, please activate your audio Why? and let's read it. Why is the company paying extra hours this month? Let's read the next one. Let's read number three. When is the new office launching? When is the new when office launching? When is the new office launching? When is the new office launching? Okay. What is launching, guys? What is launching? Almorzando. Uh, in this case, no. If you see, the spelling has a letter A. Launching with the, without the letter A? Uh, yes. Lanzando. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Starting, right? Starting the new office. So in this case, lanzando is a very good translation. So when is the new office launching? Right? Aquí no necesitamos otro complemento porque la pregunta hasta ahí termina. ¿verdad? So when is the new office launching? Launching. Let's read the next one. Everybody, please, let's read it. Where is your boss having the annual meeting? Where is your boss having the annual meeting? Having the annual meeting. Okay, let's read the next one. Let's read. How is he dividing the groups of participants? How is he dividing uh, the groups of participants? How is, how he, is he dividing the groups of participants? participants? Okay, let's read with this one. Who? Who am I calling to get information? Who am I calling to get information? Everybody, who, who am I calling to get information? information? Okay, very good. So now we read, do you have any question about the vocabulary in these sentences? Um, no? No questions. Okay, now it's your turn, guys. It's your turn. Unscramble the sentences. Unscramble the sentences. Están todas revueltas, ¿ok? You see? Pongámosla en el orden correcto. Unscramble the sentences. And let's see what do they say. The first is, um, what, are, what are my sister friends doing at the supermarket? Ok, very good. Mm -hmm. So this goes first, okay. Then my sisters goes to the subject and doing goes to the verb and R is going to the B, uh-huh. And then at the supermarket. Okay, good. So now let's see, veamos si pueden ingresar a la, a la, a la pantalla ustedes en este momento. Vamos en la parte donde están en el menú, en los tres puntitos. Ok. Y ahí donde dice anotar, o oh, no sé cómo dice en su, en su menú. Uh, here it says mm, permission. Uh -huh. Anotar o oh, anotación. ¿Pueden acceder ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok, entonces tratemos a ver quién ya está en la pantalla. Pónganse por ahí, hagan clic por ahí en la pantalla para ver quién está. Ok, Wendy, Ana Cristina ya están ahí. Muy bien. Ajá. Kevin, ajá, perfecto. A ver, Kevin, intente ponerse en, haciendo clic en una de las uh, palabras, así. Le 
¿Le salió? No le sale clic. Creo que tienen que dar la opción ratón. Sí, como control remoto, ¿verdad? Ok, aquí está. Ok, vamos a ver. Kevin. Oh, ahí está. Astrid ya me lo pidió también. Ahorita lo tiene Astrid. Astrid, usted tiene el mouse. Ok. Excelente. By Astrid or uh, unscramble the sentence. Unscramble the sentence. Correct. Hey, Juan Carlos. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Ahorita no puedo borrar nada, ¿ok? Porque el control lo tiene Astrid, ella está trabajando. ¿Cuál se nos perdió ahí? Déjeme usar el se mouse. Se me dificulta un por el mouse. Por el mouse, ok. Vamos a ver, lo vamos a hacer así, así, así. El B. Ajá, va, ahí está, ya, ya tiene usted el control nuevamente así. Ok, vaya, 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 vaya. Ahí está. Ajá. Posible por el mouse. Por el mouse, ok. Le damos el control a Kevin, veamos Kevin. Kevin. Are you ready? Ordenemos la, ordenemos la oración número dos. Let's unscramble sentence number two. Ya tiene usted el control de la pantalla. Oh, you took everything. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. También el mouse se pone un poco como está de re control remoto. Remote control. No worries. Go ahead. Extra hours this month is the compliment, right? Extra hours this month is the compliment. Vayase a acabar al al H. ¿Cómo se llama eso? H. Take it, take it. Move it, move it, move it. There you are. There, 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 there. Go, go, go. Oh. Ok, de, déjeme ordenárselos para que ya los pueda mover. A ver, suelte el mouse ahí. Ok, let's see. We're going to take this thing here. Then we're going to bring this thing. Ahí usted lo mueve, ok. Uh, let's see. You said that white goes here. It was Astrid, right? Then is was here and then the, 
company, right? The company, uh -huh. yeah. And then paying. Sí, ya casi lo tenían, miren. Solo este falta darle vuelta. Okay, go ahead. Now it's your turn. Kevin, muévalo ahí un poquito. Okay, almost, almost done, almost done. A ver, préstame el control un momentito. Vamos a ver. Por acá. Okay, ahí está. There you are. Okay, there you are. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's erase this. There you are. Okay. ¿Alguien más quiere probar? ¿A quién le doy el control? Who wants the remote? Tell me, tell me. ¿Quién quiere el control? Is it okay, Edwin? Edwin? Edwin number three. Ah, it's an erasing. Uh, Présteme un momentito el control. Présteme, présteme un momentito. Voy a salirme de aquí para que ya pueda usar. Okay, now. Now it's yours. Now it's yours. Go ahead. Uh-huh, good. The verb plus ing, verb ing, uh-huh. Good. There you are. Excellent. Okay, very good. When is the new app is launching? Good. Thank you very much, Edwin. Who wants to try? Okay. Who wants to try? Alguien quiere? Who wants to try? Number four. Ana Cristina, ¿usted quiere? Do you want Ana Cristina? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to give you my, my remote. There it is, number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí, ahí, donde le aparece la crucita, ahí llévese. Ahí, ahí ya lo puede mover. Eso. Excellent. Abajo de B, abajo de B. I think that's the compliment because it has the question mark. So it goes at the end. Uh -huh. Mira la estructura arriba. Mm 
No, no, no. La otra crucita, la negra, es la que necesita que es esa, esa. La crucita negra. There, there, there. Now you can move it. Uh huh. Okay. There you are. Where is your boss having the annual meeting? Good. There you are. Thank you very much, Ana Cristina. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, we have only four minutes to finish. Eh, présteme el control, Ana Cristina, porfa. Okay. Me, me, no lo mueva, no lo mueva para que yo lo pueda agarrar. <laughs> okay, there you are. Ah, se me volvió a mover. A ver. Ay, ¿quién me está moviendo? Jonathan, are you moving it? No. Ok, veamos ahora la número 5. Let's see number 5. And it says, ajá, how it is okay, right? A ver, díganme ustedes. Tell me. Is. He. Is. Ok, let's take is. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Ajá. The black thing. Ok. How is, uh-huh, dividing, where goes dividing? Dividing. Um, verb. Yes, e verb. G. Okay. The and the groups of participants? And the complement. Okay, there you are. So he, where does he go? Subject. Okay, good. Subject, subject is here. So? What is the question? How is he dividing the groups of participants? Okay, now let's do the last one. Who goes to the WH word? Uh, let's move it just a little bit. And let's put who right there. Uh oh. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to move these things. Alguien está adentro todavía, no? Okay, there you are. Who am I? Aha. Uh -huh. Where do I put this to get information? Hi. Oh yes, it goes calling after that. Uh huh. Oh, in the verb ing is okay, right? So to get yeah. information, there you are. So who am I calling to get information? Very good. Very good. So now guys, uh, we finish the content for today. We needed to know how to formulate this WH question. So we learned the structure. Let's remember the structure that we have to write the WH word or say the WH word at the beginning of the question, then B, then subject, then verb ing, then complement. And if I am writing, I have to write the question mark, okay? Okay, guys, today's turn is for Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen, are you staying? What? Are you staying tonight with me for the assessment? Para la asesoría? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, there you are. So I think, um, do you have any question? Do you have any question about the content? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del contenido? No questions, teacher. No questions? No questions, teacher. No. Okay. Okay, now let me take the attendance for the third time, okay? Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present. 
Ok, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. No estuvo Vladi hoy, ¿verdad? Sí, no. Ok, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos, are you there? Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Ok, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Carla Verónica, is there? Present. Ok, Kevin, thank you. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero. Present De Galvez. Ok. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Félix Present Moisés teacher. Blanco Araniva. Thank you, Edwin. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Ok, guys. Teacher, no, uh -huh. escuché, no le escuché que me mencionó. Veamos. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. No, Raquel. Yes, yes, I did and I took. Uh, yes, I checked you in. I checked you in. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. Do you have any other question, guys? No questions at the moment? Solo permítanme recordarles nuevamente que no vayan a faltar y se los pido de corazón hemos hecho un gran equipo estamos trabajando bastante bien todos se están esforzando pero necesito que por favor no falten y que se conecten a la hora para que podamos completar el contenido verdad que se requiere para eh, cada día acuérdense que son 120 minutos y no los cuento yo sino que los cuenta el sistema, ¿verdad? De Insaforp. Entonces, cuando aparece ahí, yo puedo haber puesto ahí que usted por la lluvia, que usted por esto, por el otro, pero se tiene que ver también, eh, tiene mucho que ver también su trabajo en la plataforma, tiene mucho que ver sus participaciones en las discusiones, tiene mucho que ver la participación en el tiempo que usted estuvo conectado. O sea, hay muchas cosas que se toman en cuenta. Así que, por favor, por favor, no falten. Ok. Entonces me quedo con Ana del Carmen. Then I think time is over, guys. So go and have a good rest, good night, and let's meet us tomorrow. Tomorrow. Have a good night, Alejandra. Anna, please don't go. <laughs> hear him. Okay. I hear him. I felt that I was alone here. <laughs> Ay, Alejandra, okay. Alejandra, Alejandra. Hi Alejandra, I think she she is hanging up. Uh, oh, Connect. There, there, uh, there yeah. she is. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, Ana del Carmen, how is it going? How are you doing? Um, I 
Ah, en Borolé. Ok, but don't worry, don't worry. Ay, That's di, what ah, I am ay, here for. Ok, ah, I want to help you out. Mi dificult en inglés. Oh, ok. Eh, formulation, question. Um, yeah. My, I like... I like I like English uh -huh. much much okay. no sé cómo decir <laughs> very much very much very okay. much very mm -hmm. much okay y for the difficult mm, yeah more or less. kind of difficult mm -hmm. okay yes. yeah but you know with practice I think you can get it okay with practice yes. here I give you the guidelines and remember that you have the manual to practice, you have the platform to practice, you have yes. the chat to practice, and you can uh, watch the videos once and again. So uh, I think we want to help you. We want to help uh, you, but you have I to practice. practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I practice very much. Um, para aprender. <laughs> okay, yes, to learn. <laughs> To learn, uh huh. Let's okay, see. very good. Do you have any question at the moment? Mm, the question mm -hmm. is, mm, for example, no understands. Uh huh. Uh, my difficult in. En confusión en, en las question now. Ok, ok. Eh, por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, confundo uh -huh. who ah. o con how. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, 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 excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it is. Kind of. Eh, eh, me cuesta un poquito. Okay. El, el who en uh -huh. how. Ok. How. Who siempre va a ser preguntando por una o más personas. Ok. About people or one person. Ok. Who mm -hmm. es cuando queremos saber las personas o la persona. Ok. Y me confundí ahora Singular que or plural. Uh -huh. también en, en, en what. Eh, ok. En the question, eh, when, cuando queremos saber, uh -huh. eh, es una pre para hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Pero para hacer preguntas personales. Es para todas las preguntas. Para todos. Acuérdense ah, que okay. cuando nosotros nos comunicamos, eso es lo que hacemos. Preguntar, responder, preguntar, responder, porque si no, entonces no es una conversación. Sería como un discurso, ¿verdad? Solo decir, 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 pero no está haciendo preguntas. Cuando usted pero... recabe información en una conversación, es lo más normal. Preguntas. Pero yeah. el uso de what uh -huh. en sí. What usted lo usa cuando quiere saber de alguna cosa. Ok. Alguna cosa. O algo que no cumpla el perfil, digamos, de, de persona. O, ¿Sí me entiende? De, es uh, que me confundí ahora cuando, cuando uh -huh. porque yo sé que el what se usa por, por ejemplo, what your name. Exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is Pero, your name? Name uh, es una cosa. Name uh, es una cosa. Ok. okay. okay, okay. Ajá. No estoy preguntando uh, okay. por una persona cuando digo what's your name. Estoy preguntando okay. su nombre. Nombre es la cosa. La okay. cosa. Ah, ok. Exactly. Okay. Por eso es que usamos uh -huh. what. What's your name. Ok. Uh, ok. Ajá. Sí. Y oh, yeah. siempre las preguntas llevan el question mark para que le sí. demos la entonación de la pregunta. Porque sí. uh, okay. si no vamos a decir, what is your name? Y no decimos, what's your name? Ah, la entonación de pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí, igual what's que en español. Exactly, exactly. Solo que en español tenemos dos. Tenemos el de inicio y el de cierre. 
En sí. inglés solo existe el de cierre. Solo para cerrar. Uh -huh. Sí. Exactly. Sí, eso sí lo entendí. Ajá. Y cuando sí. preguntamos con how, que me estaba diciendo usted que sí. le confunde, siempre vamos a, a esperar que nos contesten alguna manera de hacer las cosas o alguna forma de, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a usted, aquí le voy a poner manner para que usted se acuerde de eso. Cuando preguntamos how, Una manner, or, um, sí, anoté aquí. o alguna oh, way, way to do something, ¿ok? For example, how do you say, y me dice usted la palabra, how do you say window en inglés, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Cómo, verdad? Le estoy eh, buscando la manera de cómo decirlo, ¿ok? Sí. Entonces, vengo yo y le respondo. You say... Ah, bueno, pongámosle ventana porque estábamos en... en, en perdón, en... Okay, how do you say ventana in English? You say window. Okay. Seis, seis es decir. Sí. Say, say. Say is the verb decir. Exactly. Si es una variedad de verbos que ah, hay sí. que aprenderse. Sí, eso es vocabulario. Exacto. Vocabulario, Extender el vocabulario sí. para que pueda ir comprendiendo más. A veces... Eh, nosotros, bueno, es que mire, son cuatro habilidades las que, te, las que tenemos que sí, desarrollar. Sí, el sí. listening, el speaking, el reading, reading, reading writing, ajá. writing. Entonces, póngale que algunos sean más listos solo oyendo. ¿verdad? Ay, dice uno, ay, ¿cómo puede inglés? Pero a la hora de escribir, cuesta, ¿verdad? A mí o, me cuesta ajá. mucho entender y pronunciar, pero escribir. Yo siempre me sacaba buena nota en escribir y en leer sí, sí entiendo un poquito, pero más el técnico. Ah, ok. Por okay. mi trabajo, porque de, de, to, todos los artículos que vendemos uh -huh. o que importamos vienen en inglés, ¿En incluso, inglés? Hasta en, hasta, incluso hasta en las cajas, en sus empaques, ¿verdad? Que trainers, que cóctel, eh, un montón de, de nombres de, de los artículos. ¿verdad? Ay, ya tiene Entonces, una buena parte ganada. Sí, niña. sí, Ajá. sí, sí, tengo, o sea, porque lo, pero lo puedo leer. Okay. O sea, cuando lo leo, la lectura medio lo entiendo, ¿verdad? Aunque sea, pero ya voy como concretando, concretando. Exacto. Pero sí, me cuesta mucho, mucho entender y pronunciar, que okay. trato de ver, trato de, porque, porque me gusta. Porque ok, me gusta. ok. Es uno de mis sueños. <risa> un, un buen, una buena práctica para, o sea, una, eh, para que usted practique, usted lo que puede hacer es que puede escuchar audiolibros. Si hay libros que a usted le llamen la atención, usted se puede meter a buscar en la red eh, libros leídos en inglés, uh -huh. por lo menos para que usted vaya comprendiendo cómo se hace el link de las palabras, cómo se unen las palabras al momento que está uno hablando o pronunciando, porque sí. a veces es muy rápido en las conversaciones, entonces para uno que es principiante es más fácil cuando le empieza como caminando de antes de correr, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Entonces por, yo por... sí le recomendaría, y es más, le voy a enviar quizás algún link de algún buen libro para que usted escuche el, la, pronunciación la pronunciación y la forma, las entonaciones, sí. las inflexiones, cómo usan el lenguaje, ¿verdad? Cómo hacen las combinaciones, cómo omiten alguna palabra y ponen otra. Entonces usted va a ir como ampliando, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Un poquito preparando, aún más, preparando aún más para desarrollar el listening. Porque ya uh -huh. cuando le, le hablan a usted, le hablan rápido. ¿verdad? Le hablan sí, rápido, sí. pero como usted ya empezó a desarrollar el listening oyendo el libro, entonces se le Eso va a ir haciendo un poco uno. más fácil. Sí. Exacto. Por ejemplo, eh, en mi trabajo, los, catálogos, uh -huh. los catálogos, catálogos de vienen en inglés okay. eh, y hasta hoy eh, aprendí, aprendí con estas clases 
que la L, la L dijo que era muda, ¿verdad? Sí, cuando decimos walk o talk, la por L ejemplo, no se pronuncia. Ajá. Por ejemplo, eh, tenemos unos artículos que viene, vienen como medida, por ejemplo, their size, for size, half, half size. Entonces yo pronunciaba half size. Ah, y, es half. Y es half size. E incluso todavía lo usamos y hasta eh, caí en el 20. Eh, no sabía yo que era muda. Yo ya aprendí good. eso. Ajá. Porque ahí viene. Y yo, yo siempre toda la vida en mi trabajo dije, eh, la bandeja half size, half size y pronunciaba la L Ajá. igual que for igual que for vea full decía Ajá. y es for for size full size eh, quad size eh, okay. six size nine size o sea ese es el inglés técnico de, de, de cómo nos vienen los catálogos cómo viene yeah. la, o sea Ajá, ajá. Pero se aprende un poquitito así. Ok, sí, claro, sí, claro. O sea, sí. tiene un, un gran no, no, repertorio que, de palabras. Se, se confunde, ¿verdad? Porque no es lo mismo decir el nombre de X o Y artículo que decir ya una oración completa. Exacto, ya... sí. Pero como ahorita ya estamos comenzando, ya lo puede empezar a usar. Por ejemplo, sí, sí. give me the half size uh, tray, ¿verdad? La bandeja, tray. O ya empieza usted a unir, ¿verdad? A unir lo que ya va aprendiendo. Y usted dígalo, usted no se detenga, ni. Porque fíjese que bandejas, eh, ahí dice food pants. Ah, pan, pan, ajá. Pants, food ajá. pants, pa, o sea, okay. pants, ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, trainers, que es mm, trainer, es, es trainer, es coladores, trainers, uh -huh. trainer. uh -huh. eh, ¿qué más? Grade, cuando subimos Gra haciendo okay. la receta, cuando uh -huh. estamos haciendo la receta, yo, Grade, yo esa palabra la conozco, Smash también la conozco, uh -huh. decía, ¿no? porque okay. ven, vendemos majadores de potatoes, Smash oh, de potatoes, Grades. Eh, de billet, de yo, ay, no puedo pronunciar vegetables. Vegetables. Ajá. Dígalo sí, conmigo. Sí. Vegetables. Vegetables. Eso. Vegetables. vegetables. Ajá. Vegetables. Eso. Vegetables. Entonces, Entonces, eh, sí, claro, claro, ya lleva adelante bastante vocabulario y sabe sí. que, le, sabe qué otra cosa le puede ayudar y le decía yo a una su compañera, le decía, porque me dice, me cuesta pronunciar, porque no sé cómo se dice. Yo leo la palabra, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Correctamente, Entonces, ¿verdad? Nosotros exacto. Queremos... Entonces, lo mejor es que usted aprenda los sonidos de las letras del abecedario. Apréndase ah, okay. bien esos sonidos y ya la hizo. Hay una materia, le digo yo a ella, que se llama Sounds, uh, Phonics and Sounds. Phonics and sounds y ahí lo que le enseña es lo va a encontrar casi solo en videos para niños pero sí, sí. le va a ayudar muchísimo para escuchar el verdadero sonido porque no se parece a como nosotros hablamos el español es menos... que nosotros le o sea pronunciamos como estamos leyendo exacto Así y todavía nos afecta y nos afecta también el acento el acento salvadoreño porque imagínense pues la J ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, ajá, entonces las once, todo eso, las ocho, todo eso nos afecta porque Bien no tenemos, ajá, entonces <ríe> tenemos, que, <ríe> tenemos que aprender a abrir y a cerrar la boca. Por ejemplo, eh, tenemos palabras que no, que terminan en, nosotros no tenemos palabras que terminan en M, entonces decimos what your name. Y no, uh -huh. tenemos que decir, what's es your name? Name. name. Entonces, Ahí hay a cerrar la cerrar. boca. Y, y, cuando de, y cuando decimos zips, ahí Ajá, tenemos como... Que abrir. Ajá. Sí. O, o por ejemplo, usted dice los, los para decir la fecha, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Dice, June the 9th. Tiene que decir esa Z, ¿verdad? Se supone que en español debiéramos pronunciar la Z, pero no somos de España. No, somos Entonces, de España. no tenemos ese sonido, lo tenemos que agregar al cerebro, ¿verdad? Agregarlo. Porque para el inglés así. tiene que ir. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Exactamente. O sea que es con Z que yo tengo que pronunciar la fecha. Exactamente, la TH. Ah, la, la TH. TH. Ah, ah, usted la fue. pronuncia uh -huh. así, con, en, entre los dientes. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. sí, sí. Por ejemplo, sería eh, uh, after the fourth, fifth, six. Sí. Okay. Tiene que sonar esa Z. Sí. Por eso les decía yo, exagérenlo al principio uh -huh. y poco a poco su cerebro lo va a ir suavizando Asimilando. porque se va a volver una costumbre. Pero por el momento, sí. como no lo tenemos registrado, ese sonido acá, no lo pronunciamos sí. bien. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. <risa> Thank you, teacher, por su paciencia. My pleasure. I like teaching. I like. I like to help you too. Okay, okay then I think. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Don't you have any I... other question? No question. No question. Uh, okay. I enjoyed. Walk. I enjoyed this time with sí. you. Okay. So let's meet us tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Let's meet us tomorrow and have a good Tonight. night. Bye-bye. Good night, Anna. teacher. Good night. Dios le bendiga. Amen. God bless you too.